Alright guys, so this is something I've been doing for a, trying to do for a while now. Um, I'm just finally getting to it, so don't hit on it. This is the first time you're trying, attempting it. I don't know anything about YouTube, don't know anything about editing, but uh, welcome to Chasing Bass. So, for my first video, I'm going to start off with 2020 tackle box, pretty much. So, here. Oh, shit. This. This is my tackle box. Well, my bass tackle box. Yeah, my bass tackle box. So, this is going to be interesting. Stick with me. Cause we gonna go for it. Oh, holy shit. Wrong one. Alright, so. Terminal attack. You should know what this is. Y'all should know what I'm talking about. Let's see here. Um. Flipping hooks. There, there you go. Yeah, you can see that. Flipping hooks. Best thing ever. Um, I use it a lot for heavy worms, punching cover, which if you don't know what I mean by punching cover. I got bobber stops and lead weights. That is for thick thick grass like heavy thick grass I should say actually um net rig hooks which I don't typically use these for net rig hooks because I don't have a net rig but I have a net rig hook and I put a Senko on it and it seems to work pretty fine um yeah <laughs> hey whatever floats the boat and you got your typical offset hook. It's what I'm using most of the time. If not all the time. Yeah guys, that's that's a look. Into the box of terminal tackle. I have it laid out pretty good. Don't ask why I have red offset hooks. I have no idea. I just found what I could. At the time. So, there, there you go. Put this back. Alright, now. Um, I'm gonna set this on the ground. So, y'all probably wondering what I use. Um, I know I'm out of frame there. Here, I'll move it. There you go. Don't mind the the stuff there, that's dog toys. I got two dogs on the floor currently. Right, here you go. Now, this is a juicy box. Well, maybe, I don't know. I got just about everything in this box. All right, so, here we go. Uh, let's get this, let's pull these out. I'm just gonna do that. I hold it up to the camera. So, square bills, shad color. You never can go wrong with that. Never. You never, 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 never go wrong with it. Um, bounce it off of a brush on the bottom of the leg, bouncing off of rocks, because when it hits a rock, it'll just bounce back for a second, and it gets that reaction, and it gets, pretty much gets the fish attention, if you really want to know. So yeah, there's that. Square, another square bill. I like that color by Lunker Hunt. You know. Um, haven't tried it actually yet. Have not tried this yet. But juicy, juicy color. I'm thinking. I'm really thinking. So just an FYI, guys, I have top water in here too. Just by the way. Um. So I'm gonna show you all these because I didn't even. Pay for these actually. 
I got these out of a tree at Sandia River Reservoir up in Farmville. So I found this one in the lake and this one in the tree. Yeah, that that was awesome. Um, I love doing that. That's pretty cool. Still, square bill, somewhat. Um, haven't tried it. I need to. I want to. Haven't had a chance to try it because I've been fishing. Um, getting the box. Thank you. <laughs> I've been fishing. Um, pretty much lily pads. And heavy grass, like I said, for the last couple weeks, I've been fishing lily pads and heavy grass. But other than that, I still got that. I found that on the rocks at Senior River, actually. I kayak fish a lot for Senior River, so yeah. Found that. Square bill, by the way. Just about everything you'll see me throw is square bill. Now, here, here's something that I bought that I haven't used yet and I'm kind of excited to use. A Deep Diving Square Bill by KVD. This is a KVD Square Bill, deep dive. Um, love the color, by the way. That's a, definitely an attention getter, I think. And granted, people, the reason I started with crankbaits first, because that's the first row that I have. Um, found this on the rocks at Sandy River. Haven't used it. I don't think I'm gonna. Might use it, might not. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Alright. So that's my crankbaits. I don't have a lot. Don't don't have a lot, don't need a lot of crankbaits. That's just me personally. But now, we're gonna get into the juicy stuff now. So, my favorite. If you see what I'm playing with, which I'm pretty sure you see what I'm playing with. All right. Now these are the baby ones. Okay. Or let me just throw it in the ground. Hey, you can't have that. So, baby booyah, pad crusher. Love it. I need to trim these legs up some, so she'll walk really good in the water. But really soft. I had one of these tied on yesterday at a friend of mine's house and I have to say I had to get a new one for a reason. This is a Ozark trail lizard and there's the puppy. And I just realized I said lizard, by the way. That's why I stopped pause for a second. Um, definitely, definitely not a lizard. <laughs> I, had, I, was, I have a lizard in here for some reason, and I don't know why. So I said lizard. But either way, little frog. I usually use this to tune in bait casters and all that. But yeah, awesomeness. Dude. I'm gonna tell y'all now. I love a good frogfish. It is the best adrenaline getter I know. Alright, now, big boys. So, you're probably wondering why this is black. Yeah, you're probably wondering why this is black. Broad daylight, like 12 o'clock to evenings, if I'm fishing lily pads, I'm gonna throw a black one because they can see the shadow, pretty much. So, say you're throwing that compared to this, it's gonna be two different things. Um, they're gonna think, they're not gonna really see this as good, and if you throw this, they'll see that black, like shadow figure on top of the water, and it's, yeah, it's game on from there on lip heads, just by, by the way. So, love this one, by the way. It's one of my awesome ones that I have. Put this one, a little baby one back, a little baby one. Um, here you go. KVD, frog, I just got this. Um, haven't used it yet, by the way. 
Definitely have not used it yet. Kind of excited to use this. Like, really excited to use it. Pretty cool colors. Really, really excited. I still need to trim these tails up. I need to cut like that side and cut a little bit off this side to make it walk. Just look the everything else. Just like I say, you want the frog to walk like a dog. Side to side, like this. Bit of water. It's pretty cool. Now, I have never thrown this frog. And I don't think I'm going to, actually. Well, I might. Uh, I might throw it. It is a... Wonker Hunt Realistic Frog. You see its little feet there, and you can't have that, by the way. So, pretty much it's supposed to optimize, like when you, it's pretty much what's supposed to happen, is when you pull it through the water, its legs will kick like that, you know, stop, you know, like pause, like one direction, you kick it again, or like you twist your reel, like bounce it pretty much. That's what I do with my reel, my, my rod, I should say, actually. <laughs> and it's, it's supposed to walk easier, supposedly. Um, haven't tried it yet. I kind of want to try it, but yet for thirteen dollars, I don't want to lose it. That's the issue with that. And I know, guys, you're probably thinking, "Hey, fishing's fishing. You're gonna lose them." Yeah, I know. Um, I had to go buy this because I lost one of these like I said but yeah all right frogs those are done all right now I have buzz baits I got two different buzz baits you're probably wondering why I have a fluke on here and the only reason I have a fluke on there is just to give the fish something to like gnaw on I should say they'll hold on like, like I guess longer I don't know. I've seen it on YouTube somewhere. I thought it was pretty cool myself. And I, I've done it ever since. So, I always need a trailer, I think. And, ow. This is a KVD, actually. Either that or a Lucky Strike. Yeah, I think it's a Lucky, Lucky, Lucky Strike, actually. It's a Shad. Have not thrown it yet. But, buzz baits. They work pretty good in the mornings. I've seen them work okay in the evenings. I'm not too sure. Hey, if y'all can't get them work in the evenings, go for it. Don't listen to me. I'm just showing, this is, like I said, this is a learning experience for me. Be saying pretty much that I don't know anything about YouTube at all on how it works. Kind of, this is kind of interesting to me. So, spinner baits. I got a lot, a decent amount of spinner baits. So, again, I got a trailer. You never go wrong for spinner bait. Never. I haven't found one yet to not work. Got a trailer, just again, something for them to hold on longer to, you know. You know the deal, I guess. Well, you don't know the deal, but if you have seen that video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Always need a trailer, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. That's a thing, look, no, that's in my hand. So, chartreuse, spinnerbait. A lucky strike. Big, 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 big willow blades. Ought to do really good. Um, KVD. Spinner back. Not too, I think it's a. I'm not too sure what ounce these are, by the way. But, uh, spinner backs. They work wonders. Always need a spinner bait with tackle box. Always. So I'm gonna show this, even though this is something I was giving, or given to. This was given to me, I should say. Um, I don't even know what this is. I know it's a popper. I just don't. I don't know. 
It was given to me. The dude didn't have any luck with it, so there's that. All right. So that is my main top water slash crankbait slash spinner bait slash buzz bait box. So here you go. There's that. Scan through everything here. Let y'all see it all. Like I said, I I find a whole lot of stuff. By the way, there's my buzz baits. There's spinner baits, top water frogs, two different frogs in there. Like I said, that's pretty cool that I've got. I got one out the lake and got one out the tree. That was really interesting. These I got. That I got out the lake. I got that out the lake and that out the lake. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna use that one. I might. I don't. This this needs to be thrown away, honestly. But yeah. All right. So box number one down. And by the way, guys, I am filming on a GoPro Hero Seven. So quality is not that good. I am sorry really am. So, next box, which is not even shut. Flukes. I got a box of nothing but flukes. You heard me right, boys. And girls. If there's any girls watching this, touche. So, I got flukes for like days in here. <laughs> got white flukes. Texas rig, Carolina rigs, you know the deal. Never go wrong with a pearl white fluke. Got a baby shad fluke. There. Love this color, by the way. I think it's a baby shad fluke. Or shad, I think. It's called shad, yeah. I have these. I'm not too sure what the, I know they're flukes. <laughs> Self-explanatory, looks like a fish. Or a little bait fish. Um, I'm not too sure what this one's called, but I have that just because it looked like it'd be juicy. Now, this right here, the baby bass fluke. I have caught many a big bass on this fluke. I don't know why. I haven't figured that part out yet but it worked. On the bed, a little bit of dangling, weightless, like this. It was awesome. Then you got watermelon seed. Yeah, we're pumpkin seed, watermelon seed. I think it's watermelon seed. Yeah, watermelon seed is green. Best color ever out there, in my opinion. A couple of Havocs. I don't know what these are. These are I know these are swims, because they got the swimming tail. So, I'm not too sure what the color was supposed to be, but got a Havoc swim bait. Then I got a pearl white swim, zoom swim fluke bait, swim, swim bait, whatever you want to call it. Fluke, swimming fluke. It's still a fluke to me, I say, at least. Yeah. Now, with that being said, too, I actually had. I saved it. I saved it. That was a really good save there, by the way. I thank myself. If you like that save, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell icon on. Um, my plan is when I get all my mountain hardware and everything together, is to. Uh, you know, start producing videos for y'all out there, catching some decent bass. Cause we chase bass on this TV. Swim jigs, or I should say saucy swimmers. That's what I should say. Cause we got my favorite baits here, Guggen baits. Y'all know Guggen Squad. I highly recommend giving Guggen baits a try. We got what do we have here what colors what colors pro 
blue ribs, and we got pearl, white pearl shad. White pearl shad, I'm gonna use as a trailer on white spinner baits. This, you already know what that's for. I'm gonna do a little bit of weightless throwing, a little bit of Texas throwing with it, and uh, catch me some green nuggets. But love Guggen Baits, love them. Awesome baits, great, great people. Love to meet them one day. I really would, I'd like to meet the whole group. So, next. You know what, just to speed things up a little, I'm not gonna take every single one out, I'm just gonna grab a camera. Zinkos, if y'all can see those. Yes, y'all can see those, all right. So, while I'm in red, I love this color, by the way. Great color for summertime. Chartreuse and pumpkin seed. I love that color too. Great color. Wallamelon seed with sartreuse tail. Great color. Wallamelon seed. Two different colors, by the way. I don't. They're both watermelon seed. I know that. Great color. Can't remember what this is, but I fish at night and during when you see the when the moon's out, pretty much from what I get told, they see the shadow and they'll eat. They like try to eat it because they think it's something like fish wise baby blue girl black and blue baby blue black and blue uh, uh, they call it all types of stuff and then of course your chartreuse senko you know it's it's a must chartreuse senko but this one that one that one and that one of my favorites these work wonders i need to get more of these by the way actually need to get a whole lot more of those because they tear them bastards up all right next oh yeah y'all already see it you know already know it all right so football head jigs best summer bait ever football swim jig all what best summer bait football swim jig i love them i got brown we got a whole wide of them right here whole wide they're all green pumpkin yep there's a football head pro series right there by strike king there's another strike king or kv yeah strike king there's another right there love it i got them all rigged up there's a brown one by Strike King that I just got today, actually. Can't wait to try that one out. Then, got a swim jig here. I got it in a bundle. I actually liked it. Don't have a swim jig, but uh, I have one now. So that's pretty awesome. Chatter baits. So, chatter baits, in my opinion, 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 whatever you want to call it, are one of the best things I think are to throw in a summer too. A chatterbait does a whole lot of damage. Now, guys, if y'all want to see more about chatterbaits or football heads or best summer baits, y'all leave a comment down below. I have no problem giving y'all what y'all want to see, so that'd be pretty cool. All right, now this one right here. Chartreuse in white. Very, very good looking bait. Can't wait to try it. Haven't tried that. I have to, I have used that with well uh watermelon. Excuse me, guys. Wow. Watermelon seed. I've used it. Great, 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 great results. Really good results. Alright, now trailers, as you can see. Now these are not trailers, this by the way. I don't really use these. These are just in here. I was given Somebody gave them to me. Crawfish, or crawls, or whatever you want to call them. Baby blues, for, well, the black and blues. I don't know why you call them baby blues. For these, right here, you know the deal. Lizards. Yes, lizards go good with these. I don't know why. I've tried them, and they love them. Pumpkin, oh, shit. My bad. 
Walla melon seed, pumpkin seed with the structure still somewhat. <laughs> rage, rage and um. Can't remember what these are, but they're best striking. Keep the best striking. Coffee scented and all that. These work wonders. Walla melon red, I love them to death. It's almost like a bandito bug, but not quite as good as a bandito. Bandito bug by Guggenbaits. Y'all gonna hear a lot about Guggenbaits in my uh, channel because I love Guggenbaits, by the way. Alright, so there's that. There you go. Let y'all look at it. That's just. Now, granted, guys, this is just me going over everything I have in my, like, my bag here. As you can see, I had a bag. Um. Yeah. Awesomeness. <laughs> so, I'm going to show some more that I have sitting here. And it's pretty much just Guggenbait, by the way. For anyone that's kind of curious. So, we got some Guggenbait Crack and Crawls Alabama Crawl. Love these. These are very, very, very good. We got some slim worms. Well, slim shaped worms, my Guggenbaits. They are naturals. I love them to death. They work great on drop, drop, blah, blah, blah. drop shots. We got Walla Melon Red, my favorite. Walla Melon Red right here. Best thing right there you can have, which is awesome. Love them. Walla Melon Red, in my opinion, is like the best color they might. It's out there. Now, y'all heard me say something about a bandi bandito bug. I have bandito bugs. Bandito bugs. Watermelon reds. Got these from Dick's Sporting Goods. This is about all the gooden baits I have here. Sitting here come from Dick's Sporting Goods, by the way. Let's put all these back. Watermelon red. We've been over it. Nets and Naturals. We've been over it. All right, here we go. Crack and Crawls. Walla Melon Reds. I got these. This from. I'm not too sure where I got this one from. Didn't get from Dick's Sporting Goods. They didn't have that color at the time. So I didn't get them. Alright. My favorite. Guys. During the summer. A Ribbon Town Worm. Is like. So we have. The Mondo Worms. Green Pumpkin. Is it going to focus on that? Probably not. But there. Mondo Worms. Dude. I need to get more of these. Because I love a Riverton Worm. And this is one of the best. Pretty much the best ones that I've come across. Now. Riverton Ribbon tail worms being said all right so hold on here we still got more in the bag apparently there you go there is your strike king raging tails that's what those bandito bug looking ones were they're not bandito bugs by any means by the way coffee incident and everything else you gotta have a little bit of everything Flukes, and you can see the color, Walla Melon Red. I love that color to death. That color works great, and I mean great. All right, Reventown Worms. We're not going to go over those. Those are just trash. Oh, here, there's more. Guggenbaits. Got another thing of Naturals. Some states got these on sale from Dick's Sporting Goods, as you can tell right there. If you're sitting me left, go up here and get you some while they last. Love Guggen Bates. Um, Walla Melon Red. Slim Shake Worms. Nine packs, by the way, these are nine packs. Um, drop shots for days. Y'all already know the deal. Let's see. I'm not gonna go over that. That's just a trailer. Ribbon Town Worms. So, I didn't know that Farmville had their own little, like, somewhat fishing store 
And I was talking to the guy. He goes, yeah, dude. He goes, you need to get you some of these. Never heard of them. I can't even pronounce that, by the way. But uh, they're like pretty much dark brown. And they did really good. They did decent. I like them. Uh, Wild and Melon Seed. Ribbon Town Worms by Zoom, as you can tell. I use these too. I love them. Texas Red, Weightless. It, I do a lot of with them, but normally I run them Texas Red. Let's see. Culprit. All right. So, before I show these, I'm a big fan of Culprit. Ribbon Town Worms. I'm a big fan. Now, Green Pumpkin Red Flake. That is watermelon Red all day for me and they are the money i love them to death best bait river tan worm i've used really really good besides the mono worm the mono worm and these are really really good googans you're doing it that's it in that pocket y'all seen that um let's dig up right here let's show y'all some so I got trailers sitting in that one. I just got random stuff shoved everywhere. Punk, green pumpkin. Trailers for mom jigs. By, well, there you go. By them. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. Zoom. We have Zoom. Wallamelon Red. Lizards. So that lizard, that's why I was talking about lizards, because I had a lizard in mom. Top water box right there, and I don't know why, but yeah, great, great, great. Six inch lizard, awesome. Texas rig all day long. We got them. All right, now I have never heard of these guys. Never. I went to a bait shop and I seen them. I got told that big worms catch big fish. Now up at Briary Creek, that has not let me down. Now these are 10 inch, like massive watermelon red worms. Like they are massive. Um, they smell like garlic, just by the way. I don't know if, these guys are out of Hampton, Sydney. They make their own baits, by the way. So shout out to y'all. It's pretty cool that y'all are doing that. Or at least that's what I got told. That this come, these guys are in college making these baits. There you go. There you go. There's the front of the package. These are ribbon, hunk, huge worm, watermelon red with red, watermelon with red flake. Now these things, powerteamlewis.com. These things are massive. And they smell like garlic. Just, I don't know why they smell like garlic, but. It is what it is. So I have a couple more things, like two more things to show y'all, and that's actually gonna be it. Let me set this down right here for right now. I don't know if y'all can still see me or not. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can still see me. All right, I got two more lures. Two more, not lures, but soft plastics. So again, Guggen's. If y'all haven't figured out, I love Guggen baits. Black blue flake, crack and cross. Put them on a black and blue jig, we got something going. And then we got Yums, black and blue. Awesome, awesome baits, guys. This is everything I use, just by the way, everything I use. If y'all want more in-depth videos, or say like jigs, I'll take out the jig box, I'll go over hooking jigs up, I will go over a lot. If that's what y'all want. Crawls, Texas rigging, Cal no, Carolina rigs, punching through grass, if y'all wanna know all about it, hey, subscribe, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, hit that bell icon, and you let me know in the comments and I will give it to you. Other than that, guys, this is this is it. That's the end of the video. Appreciate it. Thank you for hanging in there with me. If you watched the video all the way, it's my first time ever making a YouTube video, by the way. 
I'm trying. I really am. And I haven't figured out this YouTube editing and stuff yet. So this is going to be unedited raw footage for a while probably. And it's all going to be on a GoPro Hero 7 because that's like pretty much all I can afford right now. But uh, welcome to Chasing Bass.